Yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Naruto chapter 673, alright? And this chapter, the first time I read it, I just didn't really know what to say, because on one hand, I was really disappointed at what happened with Guy, but at the other hand, by the time the chapter ended, I was pretty hyped <laughs> for what was about to happen. So, I guess I'll just I'll just get the bad stuff out of the way first. Um, guy is alive, and he's not going to die. So, you know, from last week, I'm just, I just I'm just not happy about that. All right, I don't like it at all. But to be honest. By the time the chapter ended, I had kind of forgotten all about Guy. <laughs> so, um, it, it's the, the the fight, the stuff that got me pumped up and hyped up. You know, it started with Naruto. Uh, last chapter, he kicked that truth, the truth-seeking ball, as Madara calls it. He kicked that out the way. And this chapter goes to Madara. Madara tries to catch it, and he does catch it, but he still gets sent flying back, all right? And then this is when Naruto, <laughs> Naruto talks to Son Goku, right? The Four Tails, and he says, "Yo, let me let me borrow some of your chopper." And he's like, "All right, fine." And Naruto ends up using Sage Art, lava style, grass and shuriken. Oh my god, alright, yeah. And, he, and it was like, it was like a legit sage art Ross and Shuriken too. Like, I mentioned, what, a couple weeks ago, like, all the things Naruto could do if you wanted to, and I said sage art Ross and Shuriken was one of the things he could do. Sage art Ross and, sage art Rasengan being a Rasengan that's bigger than his body. Then he turned that into a Ross and Shuriken. That's what he did here, but instead of doing wind style, he did lava style, using Sun Goku, his chakra. And the fact that he can do that means he can use the other Tail Beast's powers too, like uh, the blue fire that Matatabi has, uh, the sand that Shikaku has, Shikaku, Shukaku, <laughs> talking about Shikamaru's dad here now, um, Shukaku's sand or earth style, whatever, um, water style of um, Isobu, I think that's the three tails. You know, so he can use a the abilities of all the tail beasts. Maybe, maybe he can even transform into some. Like, I'm actually interested in this because how much? Well, I'm, I don't know how much chakra is necessary to transform. It shouldn't be too too much because when Naruto was training for Ross and Shuriken, he had a bunch of different clones, which eat with each one having like equal chakras, so his chakra was split up into multiple multiple pieces. And at different times, those clones were turning into the Nine Tails, too. I mean, it only went as far as Three Tails, but still. You know, with all those clones, you would imagine the chakra was split up a decent amount. But still, it's hard to figure out exactly how much chakra you need to transform. But, hey, he might, he can create some shadow clones. Maybe he'll have some Nine Tails running around, some Eight Tails, Six Tails, Five Tails, Kokuo. Kokuo, one of my favorite tail beasts, along with Lucky Seven Chome. Um, but that was really bad. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I, I the point is that this got me hyped up. All right, lava style, sage art, lava style, Ross and Shuriken started off as a regular size Ross and Shuriken, then it grew to like the sage art size. He threw it. Modern tried to use limbo on it, but Naruto dodged it somehow. Not really sure how he did that, but I'll just give Kishi the benefit of the doubt and assume that at some point he will explain that. Not necessarily explain that in particular, but explain exactly how it is Naruto has changed from the last time we saw him. Like how his abilities have changed, and then from there we can kind of infer like, oh, then he must have used ability X in order to dodge Limbo there. Um, maybe with, since he's in Sage mode, maybe he can just like sense the, ch se he can sense Chakra. So, maybe that allowed him to see the technique, even though it's invisible, and dodge it. Hey, may hey maybe that's it right there. Um, mm -hmm. But the point is that he dodges Limbo, all right? Then he hits Madara, 
boom, straight on. Like, he was a direct hit, critical hit, all right? This was a critical hit. It was super effective, all right? Madara got sent flying back, and then Naruto just was just like, burst. And then, boom, all right? Cut the whole tree in half, all right? That was, that was epic, all right? That was epic. Imagine what Winst Winstyle, what Sage Art Winstyle Rasen Shuriken would have done. The wind would have been going everywhere, maybe... When he when he used it on Kakuzu, Kakuzu's entire chakra network was destroyed. So I doubt that would it would do the same thing to Modern because it's just so strong. But still, you know, it might hurt a little more than a lot of at least I don't really know because we can't really tell what it did other than cut the tree. But it was still <laughs> but I I still thought it was awesome anyway. Um, I guess that's a little bit of the fanboy in me. Um, but whatever. Um, after that, Modern he actually hears the voice of someone or something telling him to absorb me in. Then later on saying that the tree was like the ten tails and absorb the ten tails and uh cause you know the the tree the final form of the ten tails was the tree. So that so Madara technically isn't the Jinchoki of like the he doesn't have all the ten tails chakra because the tree is still there. Now he does. And once he absorbs that you can see like his injuries heal and everything, you know. So uh he, this is like the strongest Madara can get, I would assume. Right now, this is like final Madara mode. <laughs> um, but as far as that voice is, the only thing... I can only come up with two choices. One being Kaguya, and the other being the Ten Tails itself. Because the other Tail Beasts can talk, so maybe it was the Ten Tails that um, talked to him. I mean, we've never heard it speak before, but we have seen it like obs observe situations before and like have actual thought, like, not in the form of words, but, like, he was, it, it was conscious of what was going on, and it could observe a situation and decide what needed to be done from there using logic. So, it's not like it's stupid, or, like, it's just, like, a brainless monster, you know? It does have mental processes. So, and I, I'm referring to the scene where, um... I'm referring to the scene where Naruto uh, was looking at the Ten Tails, and the Ten Tails saw the chakra of the other tail beast inside of him, and then like, like sensed danger, I guess you could say. Then it got up with its legs and started doing hand signs and stuff. I'm talking about that scene in particular. Um, I don't remember what chapter it was in, but hey, okay. oh, whatever. I, I didn't care enough to look like I did a um, couple of weeks ago with the uh, chap with the flashback from chapter 488. Um, that Kishi put in where Naruto figured out that something was up with Sasuke, that he had, like, interest chakra in him or something like that. Um, but yeah. Um, Madara ends up absorbing the tree like the voice tells him to. He gets better, gets healed up a little bit, so, yeah. Um, Naruto, while, while Madara was doing that, Naruto took advantage to go take Guy back to the others. Um, and by the others, I'm not talking about, like, like, actually the others. I'm talking about, like, Gara. And Lee <laughs> and Kakashi, um, the other, the the actual others like Hiruzen and Shikamaru, like the other rookies and Tamari, Tamari, uh, not Tamari, Ten Ten. I mean. Well, yeah, Tamari, but Ten Ten. I'm talking about. Like, I'll, she went to do. Isn't she supposed to be on her way there with the ninja tools or whatever? There are a lot of people who are just MIA right now. I would assume that they're still dealing with Black Sets, or not Black Sets, it was Spiral Zetsu, but Kari, you know, like, took him out before, right? Unless it was just, like, a temporary, like, I need to get past you, so, boom. And, like, it didn't, like, actually hurt him, it just kept him busy long enough for them to get by. Maybe it's that kind of thing, and Spiral Zetsu was still fighting them, but, uh, I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't really care about what's going on with them right now anyway, so, on one hand, I'm happy that he's ignoring them, but on the other hand... It's kind of weird that they're not doing anything now, so it doesn't make much sense to not show them at all. But I'm not going to complain, because like I said, I don't really care about what's going on with them anyway. Um, other than like the Yamato thing, but that's just curious. I'm, all, I'm pretty confident that it's Yamato at this point, so I don't really care. Um, but yeah, uh, after that, we actually end up seeing Sasuke going up to Tobi Rama and freeing him from Madara's chakra rods. Um, Hashirama didn't I guess Hashirama's not getting any love from his um, rival clan. Um, but Tobirama, since he was necessary, 
for the Flying Thunder God technique. I guess he's the only one Sasuke cared about. He frees him. Uh, and his eyes weren't shown either, just like Naruto's last week. Um, but Sasuke frees Toby Rama, says he'll teleport him over to where Minato's seals are. Um, and that's when Madara, I guess, finishes absorbing the tree, finishes absorbing uh, the ten tails, finishes healing, finishes everything he was doing, I guess. Um, and he says that, that the time has come for everything to become one. All right, and when we see, and when he says that right next to it, there's a panel that's black with these two eyes that are all white, and then the the eye of the ten tails, which I like to refer to as the Sharingan, because it's like a Rinnegan with a Sharingan on top and extra tomoe. So I just call it the Sharingan, which I thought was pretty clever on my part, but <laughs> I'm sure other people have called it that in the past as well. Um, and I think in his video, Sawyer. Seven Mage said something about like how he thinks Madara might have the Sharanagon underneath his um, headband. Um, but the picture that we saw had the Sharanagon up here, but also had two eyes. And Madara only has one eye. So I'm not really sure if that's him. Maybe it's Kaguya. Assuming that Kaguya is like fused with the Ten Tails or something like that, I'm not really sure. I, like, you, when you're thinking of people who it could be, Ka because of her position in the past, Kaguya comes to mind instantly as someone who would not necessarily make sense, but make more sense than anyone else to the point where she's up here, but everyone else is, like, all the way down here. So, <laughs> uh, um, Kaguya is just the name that keeps coming up, uh, and I would, I would assume that this panel was her. It has to be either her or Madara, but... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was just for effect, and that. Oh no! It, it can't be just for effect because it had the Sharanagon on there. So someone else is getting it besides Sasuke. Um. Well, whatever. It, we'll, we'll find out eventually. All right. Um. But after that, uh, we see a scene of Guard talking with Naruto, and he says, "You know, once you become Hokage, because it's pretty much a shoo-in now. I mean." He's like the strongest ninja in the world. <laughs> like, I can't think of a single person who could beat him. Um, well, I'm sure there are, like, random Akatsuki-level people out there in the world. But, um, they could give him a tough time. Um, but other than, like, random Akatsuki-type people out there. I'm not talking about Akatsuki members themselves. I'm talking about people who could end up joining Akatsuki had it still been around in the future. Uh, but... You know, because if there's some random guy who's like Hidan or like Kagazu who has some strange, unique power that would be good enough for him to make it into Akatsuki, then he might be able to pose a challenge to Naruto. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, as far as, like, actual characters that we know about, I can't really think of anyone who could stand up to him. Except for maybe Killer B, but he's MIA right now. He should be dead, but I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on with Killer B right now, uh, but whatever. Um, anyway, Gara ends up telling Naruto, once you become Hokage, uh, we should exchange cups of sake together. We should drink cups of sake together. And that's just like a Japanese thing. Um, essentially, it's when two people, their bond strengthens, um, and they become something more than friends. Uh, don't take that like in a gay way or anything like that, because that's not what it means at all. Um, one series that does this a lot is, Nur is Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan, a.k.a. Nura Ryo no Mago. Um, and in that series, the main character, Rikuo Nura, controls this group called the Night Parade of a Hundred Demons. And whenever a demon joins that Night Parade, they drink sake with him in order to show that they are becoming, um, they're joining his family, so to speak. Joining his family, and, um... Be and they're just uh, showing their loyalty to him, pretty much. Uh, we've seen it in One Piece as well, where Luffy, Ace, and Sabo drank sake to become brothers. Uh, so it's, it's 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 that kind of thing. So Gara and Naruto are essentially going to become brothers. Um, it means their bond's like really strong, essentially. Which was fine. I mean, it was kind of random. 
but I mean it's fine. I have no problem with it. It makes perfect sense after everything that the, the two of them have been through together, the effect that those two have had on each other's lives. It makes perfect sense. I'm surprised they haven't done it by now. But uh, yeah, after that we we see a scene of Obito and Sakura. Obito makes a request of Sakura, and he says he's not making this request as an ally, but as an enemy. And I would assume he wants her to guard the Rinnegan from Madara, because, I mean, maybe he wants to ask her to heal him, but I doubt that, no, why? That wouldn't make sense to ask that as an enemy, it wouldn't make sense, so. Um, maybe to prevent Madara from getting the Rinnegan, I, I would think it was, at first I was thinking that he wanted her to kill him, and Zetsu at the same time, but that would be stupid because then she'd be trapped in that dimension until Kakashi remembers that she isn't there anymore, <laughs> that she's been in that dimension for a long time. <laughs> so uh, she'd be stuck there. May hey, maybe maybe she's gonna implant the Rinnegan in her own head. Hey, that'd be kind of funny actually. <laughs> but um, now that would ruin Sakura because she's the only one out of Team Seven who's actually done everything on her own strength. <laughs> <laughs> Sasuke's got a kick a Genkai that he has from his parents or his bloodline. He, it's all genetics. That's not like something he wor he wor he worked for, but not he had it from birth. It was his birthright essentially. It's a it's that's a, it's a Keke Genkai. It's a bloodline limit that you get from the family you're born into, right? Naruto's got the ten tail uh, the nine tail seal inside of him. Um. Which was a great help. I mean, Naruto's worked hard. I mean, that's part of why his fate was able to change. Uh, like what he said with Neji, he works hard. That's why he's, he's able to change. But it doesn't change the fact that a lot of his power is... That the his main weapon is the Nine Tails. That's his best weapon. All right? And without that, he would still be strong because, you know, Sage Mode. But not as, <laughs> not as strong. Um, he would have lost to Pain. Um... And even against pain, he had help from Gamma Buta, Gamma Ken, Gamma Hero, Fukasaku, Shima, Katsuyu, Hinata, and Kurama, and, Mi and Minato. I mean, he, he had help from a lot of freaking people. So, even uh, I'm getting off topic now. The point is that Sakura shouldn't have, get the Rinnegan. That'd be stupid. Um, but I think that his request is for her to prevent Madara from getting the Rinnegan. Um, I don't know, it, but that's, why would he ask that as an enemy, though, that's stupid. I don't, I don't know, whatever. I'm, t I'm spending too much time on that. Um, yeah, I think, I'm thinking, I'm just guessing it has something to do with either the Rinnegan or him dying and taking down Black Zetsu with him. Um, yeah. Now, the rest of this chapter was, like, the most epic part. Um, that kunai that Minato threw a long time ago that I said would be relevant eventually, well, it became relevant because Naruto picked it up, <laughs> and Madara walked up to him, and he was like, dude, you can't win, all right? And Naruto's like, you're right. And he walked, he, essentially what he does is he pulls a page out of Himuraki's playbook. Himuraki from the anime Strike the Blood. He says, I'm not going to win. We're going to win. And then, and then Sasuke shows up, all right? And Naruto transforms. It's, it's such an epic transformation. Because it, it's before he had the yin chakra, I believe, and now he has the yang chakra, so it only makes sense for the transformation to be different. But not, he doesn't just have the yang chakra. He has, like, uh, Hagoromo's uh, sage chakra. All right, so the, the transformation is different. So the jacket got shorter. Um, there's more black than orange, like I mentioned. Like, uh, I mentioned he's the Yang Chakra now, so it has to be, the colors are reversed mostly. Um, he's got two chakra rods. He's got horns now, all right? He's got, he's got truth-seeking balls around his, just floating in the air around him like he's the sage, all right? He, he, even his shoes changed color. They're freaking white now, or well, they're probably orange. Uh, they were blue before, so all the shoes are blue except for, like, Sakura's. She wears black shoes. Like, most people wear blue, alright? Actually, Naruto might wear black shoes, too. It doesn't matter. The point is that they change color, alright? So now they're, like, white or orange or something like that, alright? So even his shoes change color. And he's got the kunai in his mouth trying to do his best Zoro impression. But not too much Zoro, because if he had a long sword like Zoro instead of a kunai, 
then it would take away from the rest of the outfit. So he had he had to get a decent amount of Zoro, but not too much Zoro, you know, so to distract from everything else. So that was cool. Alright, Kunai in the mouth, the horns, the new the new look, the truth seeking balls and Yon Tong Jutsu, Yin and Yang Jutsu, Light and Dark Jutsu. It goes by a million names, but doesn't matter. Alright, it's just awesome, right? That's the point. It's awesome. Alright. And then after that we see a close up of Sasuke's face, alright? And one eye. One eye is the Sharingan, right? He's left eye still. But the other eye is not the Rinnegan, but the Sharinagan. Alright, the Sharinagan. Alright, Madra said, one has the Senjutsu of the six paths blossomed within him. And the other has awakened the Rinnegan, which is not true, it's the Sharinagan. Alright, but, uh, whatever. Alright, and Madra says, oh, you two have those two powers, but I have both of them. Alright, which is not true because, first of all, Unlike Sasuke, Madara only has one eye, <laughs> and that one eye is the Rinnegan, while Sasuke has two eyes, one of them being the Eternal Mount Gekyo Sharingan, and the other being the Sharinagan, uh, which uh, it will be actually pretty cool if the Sharinagan turned into the Eternal Mount Gekyo Sharinagan, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't mind Sasuke getting the Rinnegan because he needs it to be any to be remotely close to Naruto. Um, the main thing I was worried about when it comes to Rinnegan was if Naruto got it. Alright, that was the main thing I was worried about. I People people have been saying for years that Sasuke's going to get the Rinnegan because how else can he compete with Naruto? Alright, so I've, I've like, I accepted that a long time ago. Um, I was just afraid that Naruto was going to get it. So, he didn't, so that's good. So now I'm fine with it. Uh, the Sharanagon was a nice twist, though. That I, 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 that I truly did not see coming, that it would be the Ten Tails' eye. Um, but hey, maybe maybe that panel from before was in fact modern, and he actually does have the Sharanagon underneath his headband thing. Uh, maybe. But, um... And that, that's how the chapter ends. Modern says, this is going to be the final fight, which, in reality, it's like the sixth final fight <laughs> of, this, of this saga. I should say, first Obito and the and the Tail Beast versus Naruto, Killer B, Kakashi, and then Guy. Then the second final fight once Madara showed up. Then the third final fight when the Ninja Lion showed up. <laughs> then the fourth final fight when Obito turned into the uh, fourth, the fourth Sage of the Six Paths. Number one was Hagoromo. Then Madara was the second. Nagato was the third. So Obito would be the fourth. And the fifth time would have been when Madara transformed into the uh, Sage of the Six Pass again. Uh, well, he was already a Sage of the Six Pass for a fifth time. Um, once he came back at Otensei because he had the Rinnegan. Oh, I guess that would make Obito the fifth and not the fourth. It doesn't matter. Right? The point is that one modern chance became the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. That was like the fifth final fight. Now this is the sixth final fight. Now that Naruto and Sasuke are back. So, yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I actually think this will be the final fight, though. Not like all those other final fights. I think this legitimately will be the final fight, unless Chojiro shows up. That <laughs> the only guy in the entire series that isn't there right now, who was in like a ch he wasn't a child like Konohamaru or someone like someone who was actually a part of the war and is not there right now, someone who was a part of the war and still alive, <laughs> who's not there right now. He's like the only one, right? Chojiro being the swords, the one guy remaining in the uh, seven swords of the mist, the guy who. Uh, is one of the Mizukage's retainers, the dude he was fighting Black Zetsu before and dominating him, that dude. He's like the only guy not there. <laughs> so it'd be funny if he showed up. I'd be laughing. Um, I'd be I'd be laughing if Anko showed up too. That'd be hilarious. Uh, since Anko is one of my favorite female characters in the series, which is a shame since she never gets screen time. But whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, rambling now. Um, I liked the chapter overall. The guy stuff was disappointing, and there wasn't really much story progression at all. Um, but the parts of the chapter that the, par the parts of the chapter other than the guy stuff were they were great. They were awesome if if you care about like Naruto. Like if you don't if you don't care about like what if you don't care about what's going on right now, then you're just gonna say, okay, whatever, it's just another power of blah blah blah, I don't care. Alright, and that's perfectly reasonable. 
right? I know I did the same thing last week with One Piece. Uh, I was like looking at the scene with Usopp, thinking like I don't really care about Usopp, so I don't care about this scene. <laughs> it's just, I just don't care. It's stupid, all right? So that's probably what you're thinking about this chapter if you don't care about what's going on in the series right now, which is perfectly reasonable, all right? It's perfectly understandable. But if you do care, then you thought this was awesome, and you probably fanboyed it, all right? So in in that sense. Um, I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10, um, which, had it not been for the guy stuff, I would have given it a 10, but the guy stuff was just so disappointing, <laughs> like, it did bring it down, so, uh, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10, actually, why not, why not, Shaw Renee got epic paneling, uh, new, new transformation for Nard, it was, it was, it was epic in those regards, plus the voice, uh, the request for, uh, or, for, the request to Obito made a soccer. So there actually was a little bit of story progression here. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with an 8.5 out of 10. That's it. This review is going on for too long. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll just end it here, you guys. And that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.